Libyans consume vast amounts of coffee, but as the fasting month of Ramadan approaches, many are preparing to go without. The tradition goes back centuries in Libya, but when Italy occupied the country in 1911, traditions changed. These days, young people have replaced the old beverage for Italian-style espresso or macchiato. The older generation still loves its Arabic coffee, but young people mostly order espresso or macchiato. They do not like Arabic coffee anymore, but some youths still love to drink it. Some locals like to boast that Libyan coffee is different and unique. Some, like this shop owner, will definitely be missing his favorite drink. If you were to order a macchiato in Tunis, you would not find a shop that makes it like the Libyans do, because we learned it from the Italians. Libyans make coffee the Italian way. If you walk through Tunis, you don't find coffee of this quality, made in this way, with such Italian machines. During Ramadan, observant Muslims everywhere are expected to refrain from eating and drinking from dawn to dusk. You will find that coffee is a part of every meal. During Ramadan, coffee is on every iftar table. It's essential in our culture. The holy month of Ramadan starts this Thursday.